reassembling the waste bin. Inspect all the felts and foams and replace if needed. If replacement is needed for the wiper blade sealing foam, remove the wiper blade sealing foam and any residual adhesive. Clean the installation area with a swab and 91-99% to isopropyl alcohol. Remove the release liner from the foam and install into the waste bin, aligning either end with location marks in the waste bin. Press along the length of the foam to activate the adhesive. If replacement is needed for either the wiper blade end foam or wiper blade end felt, the recovery blade must also be replaced. Remove the recovery blade. Remove the wiper blade end felt. Remove the wiper blade end foam. Remove any residual adhesive from the installation area. Clean the installation area with 91 to 99 percent isopropyl alcohol. Remove the release liner from the wiper blade end foam. Press against the foam to activate the adhesive. Remove the release liner from the appropriate wiper blade end felt and install into the waste bin. Press against the felt to activate the adhesive. Remove the release liner from the recovery blade and install into the waste bin. Align the end of the recovery blade with the location marks near the wiper blade end felt. The edge of the recovery blade needs to be aligned with the outside edge of the waste bin. Ensure adhesive activation is made along the entire length. Dip the wiper blade into a trough of approved yellow toner and tap metal stamping to remove excess toner. Make sure the corner of the wiper blade is seated into the notch of the wiper blade end felt. Install the wiper blade and secure with the two screws. Clean the PCR saddles with a cotton swab soaked with 91 to 99 percent isopropyl alcohol. Use the wooden end of a swab to apply a small amount of conductive grease to the black saddle. Install the PCR into the saddles. Install the drum.